fear you because you are young. They fear you because you are the future. How fearful they must be that they shoot you children. How powerful you must be that they fear you so much. You are powerful because you are the generation that will be free. What is important, what we're trying to do as an organization, to get black people to identify with language. Because most of the times when we are presented to Africans with history, with African history, they hide your achievements from you, what you are capable of. And they do that because they understand once you know that a person in my family was this great, you will also aspire to be even greater. When we try to adopt a different culture, we are moving into an environment that does not accommodate black greatness. We try to identify with people that we don't relate to. So they hide your achievements from you as black people. They don't let you know that 35 years, 35,000 years ago, in the place that is now called Nigeria, we invented something called a philosophical mathematics, which is not like mathematics that we use in the class. It didn't have a practical use. We didn't calculate speed that much. We didn't do anything with it. It was a philosophical mathematics in the sense that we created it because we were intelligent. We mm. didn't have any practical use. We just did it because we were smart enough to do it. Wow. So they hide your achievements from you as black people. They don't let you know that from black people they got their first social structure, which is how society should operate. From black people they receive their mathematics. We are the ones who gave the world its first chemistry, its first medical studies by a man called Umotep. We invented and discovered medical practices which are still used today. It is in Africa where we gave the world the first university here, Africa, Timbuktu, Mali. We are the ones who gave the world its first universities, but now we are aspiring to go out worldwide. Who put it in our minds that we can't as black people open up our own universities? We're always chasing after jobs, jobs that are from white people. Who put it in our minds that we can't develop our own things and develop them even greater? Take a look at where we are now as black people. We have to wait for NASA to tell us that they discovered pictures about Pluto. We wait for NASA to tell us that they discovered another planet. Why don't we black people have our own black space studies? Where we study our own things to stand at our trauma. Regarding ARVs, we had to wait for the British Medical Council to come and tell us how we should treat AIDS. Why didn't we make our own studies? What is keeping black people so busy that other races they can do these studies? What is keeping us so busy? What are we working on as black people that are not now where our advance are collecting? So now, even if you have money in your bank account, it's in a white owned bank. Where are the black owned banks? You go to a shopping center now, you use to buy your grocery. The money that you, that you spend there, where does it go? Foreign investments. As black people know, none know what is our current state, where are we in the world? In the clown fair, people just know us for sports and entertainment music. What is our position collectively? Not for two, one, not much for two. Collectively as a unit, the guy in the world, where are we? Where you can go up to a person and ask, where is this black person? When you think about black people, what do you think about? If you had asked this question 35,000 years ago, people would tell you about our papers. About how we gave the world its first economy. You know how much work it takes to establish an economy. African people, black people like me and you, we gave the world its first economy. Why can our country dominate economically? What is keeping us so busy? Who put it in our minds that white people should be the ones there? Who put it in your mind, Yahoo, where now you can't even make your own car? Because the first person who made a car, they didn't see a car before, had they? But then who put it in our minds? So now what do we do? We follow a traditional path. We finish matric, we get a degree, we get a job. Now, as a group, we are not against that. It's a very great thing. And in fact, we encourage academic dominance. But what we are saying is, don't just keep it to that. We didn't come here to come and say, Balang, Balang. Because what difference does it make if you're Balang, Balang, but you get a job, even if you get a CEO position at a white-owned firm? It's like sitting in the front of a bus that is not yours. You don't have dignity. Once you have your own bus, you don't even have dignity. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Because it does not make sense that we finish high school, we educate ourselves to university, spending a lot of money. After that, we go and make a white corporation rich. What is keeping us black people backwards? Why is so much about supporting people? say, okay, this kind of problem, black people will know how to handle it. Actually, them towards them for us. There's something that is called the 10,000 year road walk in the sun, where we dominated the world as African people. We were the reference for the whole world when they needed something they put towards Africa. We gave them their first books, their first language, their first writings. They came from Africa. We gave the world its first humanity. Why can't we identify with that greatness? If people were that great, they're not full again, you know. Take a look at South Africa. What is the one thing that we don't have that other nations have? We deserve to conquer our level one, but for what? South Africa is mineral rich. When you walk out there on the street, you are walking on gold. There's gold under this ground. You walk on gold, but you're trying to be like people who come from UK. A rock. Nothing grows there. It's just a rock, an ice frozen rock. But we're not to compare a level. Why? You walk on gold. Is this not the heavens that people are talking about? We have to identify with greatness. The moment you try to take on a foreign identity, you are moving away from your natural power. It's important that we associate with greatness so that when we encounter a task or when we encounter a problem we will say wait a minute if i was able to give the world its first mathematics it wouldn't go that route for other people why what, what are we busy with because if it is a natural job a natural span where are we moving as black people will we enjoy it but we will not move as a people because if the white man doesn't create a job then we're not going to the total more one for real i'm school because in the last it's a job we have to have a shift in thinking. We have to identify with the greatness from where we came from and then expand our minds that's stuff limited in our thinking. We have to think broad. We can't be like leaves being blown about with the wind. Then we're going wherever the wind decides for us to go. We need to identify with the tree that we come from, which is here in Africa. Once we have identified the tree, we ensure that the tree is deeply rooted so that when the wind comes, we are not afraid. We have our roots stuck to the ground. So our Tabi next. You have to draw confidence from the fact that you are black and identify with black greatness. 